Hey everybody, uh, here with the trade confirmation video for uh, Signair. Just got some stuff in the, uh, the mail yesterday. Um, it's pretty much, I think, his first trade on YouTube. He um, had references from another site, um, Tojo or something like that. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but it, you know, he had like 40 something trades on there. And I took some time checking it out and it all looked pretty good. So, uh, trade was for, I traded him my set of, uh, traded my set of Kamigawa Dragons. Um, they're all in real good shape, so, um, there's a bunch of cards involved. I think it looks like these are extras. We'll look at them in a minute, but, uh, you know, said, uh, thanks for trading. Let's, uh, check out these here. Hope everybody had fun at the pre-release. Uh, I actually did not get to go. I mean, I got to, got to technically go. I, um, swung by and registered <laughs> to, and did a very bad, you know, pay 30 bucks for six packs. And then drop around one because I had to come back home. But uh, you know, I just you know I me, mean, I'm bad about needing packs, especially when I can't have some. Um, so yeah, did that. Um, not the worst thing in the world. Didn't get anything real great. I'll show you those later. I actually got some more packs. And I'm gonna open hopefully later tonight, uh, and I'll show you what I got in the ones I already opened for my seal pool, which would have actually been a pretty good seal pool. It wasn't a lot of value. Um, I think I got one uh, reforged the soul, which is like five bucks. But anyway. On the trade, sorry. Uh, it's for a lot of different cards. I forgot them. Got uh, two Urza's Mines, two Power Plants, two Towers, two different arms. Good. Uh, a Wet Wheel, good mill cards, ADH, whatever. And got two Ley Lines here. Let's see what we're in these. I think there's two, three, should be a couple cards in this one. Looks like a couple. Um, but yeah, he also was wanting my uh, Soren Markovs, and I just really couldn't find quite enough to do that because that had been a pretty big trade, especially in the first one. But like, I, I you know, had some stuff I wanted, just some random stuff, nothing else I was just dying for. But then again, those dragons, I remember I traded for them a long time ago for a guy, and the guy moved before I could trade them to him. So anyway, they were, you know, they were cool, but they were kind of second place in my mind. Anyway, Copperline Gorge, uh, Mael the Animal. And a uh, Unsky King, Killer of Kings, which um, I know I'm gonna probably make my main EDH deck, the Mono Black with that Viscera that I got altered. But uh, I do still have a Grixis version with a couple of Grixis Generals, and this goes in there quite well. So, um, in general, um, if there's like some Mythics from the Charge Block, I'm probably gonna want them because they're, most of them are pretty cool, you know, especially EDH wise. And I was not around for that, so it's hard for me to get a hold of those cards without like eBay in them or something weird. Uh, what else do we have in here? Oh yeah, the third layer on the board. This one's an M, which is cool. I got, it means I, I already had one, so I've got two of the M, you know, 10, 11, and two, the other two I think, from Ravnica, which is even cooler. I like those. Things. And a Seaborn Muse, which you know, is just oh, a good card. Even if I don't play it, I, I think I can trade it to a couple people, which is it's just a cool card. Uh, I got to play with a couple times in the uh, Moto block. Sorry about the dog barking. Uh, I guess that's going to be it, man. Um, oh, wait. Oh, got that the extras. Okay. Hopefully you don't hear it that bad now. But, yeah, my dogs are crazy. Usually when I do these, they're asleep. But I had time to do this this afternoon, so I went for it. Well, that's a good pet. Anyway, like I said, I hope everybody had a good time at the pre-release. I uh, heard the Hell Vault was kind of um, underwhelming, which I kind of thought it would be. I mean, it's not good. So we're, you know, talking about maybe there's power in there. No, they're not giving each store a thousand dollar or thirty hundred dollar card. So we got the Sign Land. Uh, looks like a uh, tenth edition four. Pretty cool. Blight Enchant Land. If Target Land becomes tapped, destroyed it in a turn, which you know would go in my uh, EDH deck. It's Mono Black so Land Destruction. Oh, sweet. Think, I think that's 4th edition, or it might be revised. Anyways, Lightning Bolt. I don't have any old school Lightning Bolt, so that's, that's really cool. And so we've got a <laughs> Goblin Bowling Team. I think this is... I'm not sure if that's unglued, unhinged, some kind of... Anyway, it's one of the uncards, I think. That's pretty funny. And, oh, Floor Lava Axe. Five to your face. Maybe it's shiny. So, all right. So, like I said, uh, check him out. Um, I'll try and put his link in the description below. If I don't, just say it's uh, Seeknair, 
it name will be in the title. So uh, just check him out. He's uh, pretty easy to work with. Um, everything came, you know, pretty well timed. Uh, like I said, thanks for watching and uh, check out the video I'm going to put up later about my uh, absent report and restored packs. Thanks.